Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to unlock the disabled screen on your iPad Pro. So let me turn it around, show you the model here. The model is A2379 and this is the iPad Pro, the fifth generation 12.9 inch. Now take a look here. It says the iPad is disabled meaning that we need to reset or restore the iPad back to factory settings. There are a couple of things that you need to get yourself ready before you can proceed with the reset or the restore on the iPad. First, you need to download iTunes. So go to I Apple website and download and search for the iTunes. So make sure you have the iTunes downloaded. Second, you need to have the cable ready. So this runs on the USB-C to the regular USB port. Make sure you have the cable ready. And the third thing is your Apple ID login. So when I say the Apple ID, meaning that um, your email address as well as the password, because to restore the iPad back to factory settings, one of the screen is going to verify the ownership of the iPad, meaning that it would ask you to identify with the Apple ID and the password in order to restore. So make sure you have all three things ready and I'll walk you through step by step on how to do that. All right, so the first thing I like to do is make sure that the cable is connected to your computer. And also you have, I assume that you already downloaded the iTunes, okay? So once the cable is connected to the iPad, let's go ahead and power off the iPad here. So to turn off the iPad, you press the power button and the volume button together and you press it and hold. Then you can see the screen here, slide it down to turn it off. Now the iPad is off at the moment. So the next step while the cable is still plugged in, right? The cable is connected to your computer. The iPad is turned off. The next step you need to do is to press and hold the I shouldn't have turned it on that quickly let me redo it again turn off the iPad slide it off okay again the cable is still connected to your computer the iPad is turned off what you want to do now is you want to press the volume up volume down and hold on to the power button so once you press the volume up, once you press the volume down, and keep holding the power button. Still keep holding. Keep holding until you see the screen right here. Okay, so once you see the screen right here, and if you look at your computer screen, I'll switch it to the monitor here. If you look into your computer screen, um, and the iTunes is open and this is what it says there's a problem with the iPad the iPad requires to be updated or restored so I would click on restore just so you know when you click restore restore and update it will wipe the entire iPad clean back to factory settings now all your pictures all your data all your apps everything that is in the iPad it will be wiped clean and back to factory settings. So make sure you already have a backup in advance, hope, hoping that it was backed up to the cloud, or maybe it was backed up to your computer iTunes. And if you do not have any backups, uh, just be ready that the iPad is going to be brand new, it'll be wiped clean, and you're gonna start fresh again from the beginning. All right, so on the top right corner here, you can see that the iPad software is updating. So it's doing the downloads and it takes about six minutes remaining to uh, to finish the download. So I'll be waiting here while the iPad, uh, let me switch the screen and show it to you. While the iPad, it is still showing the screen right like, like this. Okay, so just make sure the cable is connected, leave it on, uh, do not do anything and just wait until the iTunes done downloading the updates
All right, so we are kind of down to like a minute, 60 seconds. All right, so the download is done and the iPad is doing the process of updating and you just have to wait for the screen. And on the top bar right here, right in the center in the middle, you can see that it says extracting software. This blue little bar is moving across from left to right and you can see that the bar is somewhat about 40% of the screen just right above the iPad the blue icon so right now it's about 50% and you just let it load all the way until it finish at this point here your iPad still looks like this nothing has changed I just want to make sure that you're able to follow along with the uh, the iPad so I'll switch the screen back and forth and show you the entire process so it says preparing iPad for restore. Just wait. And you can hear that little sound that the iPad got disconnected and the screen went black and it's preparing to restore. So the iPad right now should you should see an Apple screen, an Apple logo. And that little loading bar is showing so we just have to wait for that bar to complete by the way this may take about I would say five minutes or so uh, you may want to skip the process if you want or just continue watching
All right, we should be almost there. I know that the bar is moving very slowly, but we are getting there. So you can see that the iTunes screen, it shows that restoring iPad firmware is completed. That little blue bar is moving quite fast. So it is still restoring the iPad. And just be patient with the iPad screen here. We are halfway through the process. I'm still here. Um, it's just that the bar is moving very slowly. It's not frozen or it's not, you know, stuck. You just have to be patient. It takes some time for the iPad to load up and to restore the entire iPad. So there's a lot of downloads going on in and out the computer, as well as the iPad may take some time to, to reset itself. So just be patient. It is not stuck or froze anything just still loading but very slowly Let me switch it over to the monitor screen. You can see that it says restoring iPad firmware. It is still in that screen. So just keep waiting here. All right, so the bar has just jumped almost like three fourths of the screen.
All right, so the iPad is restarting. And if you're curious to see what is happening on the monitor screen, so you, sh you should see this screen right now. It just restarting the iPad, nothing really special. All right, so it's pretty much is asking for us to unlock the iPad. But before I do that, let me show it to you the iPad screen here. So the iPad is just restarted and it boots to this screen. Okay, what you can do is you click on English, United States, select a country where you're from. So mine is United States. We can say set up manually. Select the Wi-Fi. And let me cover this up. So this may take some time to activate the iPad. And right now it's asking me to unlock the ownership of the iPad. So remember the third thing that I was telling you is to have the iPad login screen ready. So let me go ahead and put in the iPad. Um, go ahead and put in your Apple ID and your password. Once you put in the Apple ID and a password, you click next. That would unlock the ownership meaning that you verify the ipad belongs to you then you can go past the screen and unlock the the ipad so i hope that this video helps and if this helped you please go ahead and uh, give me a like um and subscribe if you have any question just comment below and um yeah i hope that you have a working ipad again and if you want to restore the um, your data, you can restore it from the cloud. Um, other than that, you can just start using the iPad fresh from the beginning. All right. I hope you learned something today. Bye now.